Hi, friend. Say hello. Say hello, baby girl. Yes, hi. We have some emergency news today. So, I went to pick up mail and neighbor is like, oh, I see a newspaper. And the mailman's like, yeah, you're like a local star. And I'm like, what's going on? So, uh, I gave an interview to like a local newspaper after my competition and totally forgot about it. I wasn't sure they were gonna publish anything, you know, I have been on some podcasts and some interviews that have not been published, so it's just like, you do it and then you forget about it because you never know what they're gonna do. But this one was published and it's all over the news of Orange County. So I am going to read this beautiful article and react to it. Let's do it. Powerlifter soars to new heights. Competitor wins prestigious medal at Ladies of Steel event. I, I may crack up at, at some moments during reading this and not explain why, so if you get why, put that in the comments. <laughs> yeah, and hit like to this video before you finish, by the way. If you don't like it, you can just unclick it. Cool? Cool, thanks. No problem. <laughs> by Ralph Mancini, News of Orange, Managing Editor. One time, Duke University civil engineering major and self-described bookworm Katya Gorbacheva recently achieved the milestone of feat of earning a third place finish at the May 13th Ladies of Steel, LOS. Oh, I didn't know it was uh, abbreviated. Powerlifting competition in Rock Hill, South Carolina, which she hopes will serve as a springboard for future success. Although she fell short of competing, of conquering the first place, Yo, I didn't feel short, like, the, the woman who won it, she was like three heads above me, but you know, she was miles above me, miles ahead of me. Um, I, it's not like, oh, I just, I, I needed two and a half kilos to win. Like, no, there was no way. <laughs> Maria, you, you're a star. Although she fell short, just short of conquering first place, the 31 year old Hillsborough resident conceded that this year's LOS showcase was harder than any other contest she competed in previously, with the exception of the Nationals. Facts! Gorbacheva's noteworthy results comprised benching 193 pounds, squatting 369 pounds, and posting a deadlift of 402 pounds, totaling 964 pounds. Looks correct. I don't remember how squat converted from 167 and a half kilos, but the total looks correct. And while her output was outstanding, she noted how one of her 20 year old peers recorded an eye popping deadlift of about 450 pounds. When the Russia born Gorbacheva isn't exhibiting her lifting prowess in her powerlifting, to her powerlifting fans, she also trains as a bodybuilder and shares the expertise as an athletic coach for individuals who either aspire to also com compete on the grand stage or are simply looking to get in shape. The buff, lean perf but lean performer didn't seriously begin hitting the weights until her post-college years, when she experienced an epiphany of sorts that put her on an unanticipated path. I started competitively when I realized my job wasn't bringing me fulfillment. Facts. When you work for someone else, you're not in control. I don't care if I make a lot of money, but I'm going to be in control of what I do. When I go on vacation, if I want to see my family, I can just buy a plane ticket, shared Gorbacheva, who boasts a varied clientele worldwide. Facts. Due to the young coach's demanding schedule, which also includes speaking engagements, she rarely, if ever, meets face to face with the individual she consults. Yep, I mainly write coaching programs and put them in the Total Body Lab app. That is a client-only private app that houses all of our coaching, nutrition, PT, group chat, private chat, etc. <clears throat> Instead, she will communicate on a frequent basis with them via online chats and often involve Gorbacheva assessing lifting techniques in videos that are sent to her. Yep. In addition, those who subscribe to her, to her services, can also obtain a meal plan to help them with the most, to get them get the most out of their training. And while a five foot six, 160 pound powerhouse, 
<laughs> may convey the appearance of someone who consumes 22 ounce Texas ribeyes for breakfast, lunch and dinner, Gorbacheva has built her robust physique as a devout vegan. Yay, I'm glad you mentioned this. As such, one of her go-to sources of protein are soy-based items, which she says are more easily absorbed than other food types that are purported to be ultimate in body enhancing amino acids. Okay. <laughs> I hope that I read the sentence right. Peanut butter, for instance, is mainly a fat-rich concoction, 80%. Whew. Mr. Ralph Mancini, thank you for doing a great job putting my words in, into writing because I've given interviews before and sometimes I say one thing and people write the other thing. This is pretty close to what I've said pretty much exactly. <clears throat> Most beans consist of about 72% of carbohydrates, according to the muscle and fitness guru. Well, it's also just nutrition facts you can look up online without my guru-ness. And yes, soy does absorb pretty close to whey. Those are also facts. You can look up research. It's like, I didn't just invent this. It's kind of a well-known fact that is not really looked for by people who eat meat because clearly they eat meat so they're not really interested in ser ser searching for other protein sources because they, re they already found what they like and for a lot of those people i've been told taste is a big deal so like if they've been eating this for their lifetime they don't want to change it because they're already used to taste and know where to get it and uh if they get like a block of tofu they have no idea how to cook it i learned how to cook it but i don't think a lot of people are willing to go that far since those foods are available but we're not as like used to uh, cooking them and serving them and consuming them as a society unless you are of Asian descent at least in my experience in the US hopefully they get more popular especially with articles like this as far as protein varieties go Gorbacheva prefers those made of peas rice hemp and sweet potatoes correct Sweet potato protein isolate, that is. I'm not talking actual sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are mainly carbs. And they're not potatoes, by the way. They're from a different family. They are, oh, I forget what they are, but you can eat their shoots, like their greens, whereas potatoes, you cannot eat the tops of the potatoes. They're poisonous. So yes, they're a different kind of tuber. I don't think they're tubers. I think they're something else. If you know what sweet potatoes are, like what plant they are, please write in the comments because I forgot. <clears throat> on that note, she went on to dispel the myth of soy products promoting large breasts in males by <laughs> stating that higher quantities of phytoestrogens can be found in coffee and especially beer. Yep, about 50 times than soy can be of phytoestrogens are in beer. And yet beer is considered manly and soy is what? Apparently not, according to most men. I don't know. I've been saying that I've been eating soy for years, and this is the size of my breasts. So if, if they are supposed to be breast enhancing, I'm still waiting. A significant portion of Katya's client base are normal Joes and Janes who aren't sp sporting wife beaters with water jugs in tow. Very cool phrasing. I, I can't write like this. Can someone teach me to write like this? Many, in fact, are merely looking to master functional movements, pain-free, such as picking up their small children or properly squatting. Clients who are banking on drastic aesthetic changes overnight, she maintained, are often allowing their expectations to exceed the realities. Yep, that's true. It takes forever to make a difference in their looks. If you bust your rear oh i got censored <laughs> he put that in parentheses lifting and eat right for a year you may look like you're working out maybe that's correct that's facts like i'm not super lean and i look like i work out maybe you know what i mean like, i don't have veins and muscles popping out of my clothes hi b bye b added Gorbacheva, who revealed that most powerlifters aren't shredded like bodybuilders. 
despite their exhaustive training. People confuse health with what's a good look on a magazine cover, she observed. As a preponderance of front page and or Instagram models images, model images are known to be modified by power of lighting, filters, or Photoshop. Sadly true, and that's awesome that we are aware of that now. I think most people are aware of that now. We're kind of just like checking ourselves versus 10, 15 years ago, we weren't, at least I wasn't. And I thought all of that was real and easily attainable if I trained for like a couple of weeks. No. To that end, the local aesthetic, the local athletic coaches, to that end, the local athletic coach prescribes safety, which often translates to people being aware of their limitations, whether they're plagued by stiff ankles or sore shoulders. Sauna, she recommends, is an effective tool for self-preservation, while other therapies such as massage, infrared light, gels, creams, etc., may have the effect of making one feel great, but are overrated in terms of recovery. Yes, unless it's like some anti-inflammatory cream that has, you know, whatever the compounds that the doctor has prescribed to you, and it's like a severe pain treatment that is not to be used frequently. Like it's not a recovery tool, you know. Sauna is better. Every once in a while, low intensity cardio is better. Occasional cupping, occasional massage, but you can also foam roll. A couple days ago, we had a video about that. Yeah. If it seems too good to be true, probably is. You can't order a two day shipping for a healthy body. You got to work for it. Santa is not going to bring it to you. You can't inherit it. You got to put the work in. Gorbacheva can be contacted at katya at totalbody.com. God damn it, he messed up my email address. It's totalbodylab.com. Dude, bro, I sent you an email from this address. Everything else is cool, but people are going to be sending it to the wrong email. That sucks. We got some pictures in here. Picture of me and picture of the metal. Gorbacheva has emerged as a valuable resource of knowledge for folks seeking to muscle up and trim down. Those things are the opposite, but I guess they're supposed to attract males and females. Sounds like they're going to not attract anybody because the person's going to read the other half and be like, oh, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't know. Gorbacheva displays her third place medal, won at the Ladies of Steel event in South Carolina. News of Orange County. I think that's it. Let's see if uh, there's a square at the end of the article. No. Okay, well, what do you think about the article? Have you seen it? If you live in Orange County, have you... Have you read it before I read it? I'm curious. I'm really happy with how he put things from the interview and what he selected to put in here, honestly. And I'm kind of pissed that my email is wrong. That's like <laughs> kind of important to get right. But I guess people can Google me. Yeah. Oh, well. Thank you, Mr. Ralph Mancini. I do appreciate uh, a local highlight. I will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.